does represent have values or do you have things written out? Yeah, definitely. Of course. Is, is there anything you can share of like, yeah, I like our values of family, quality, relentlessness. They're the top three. Family, quality, family. relentlessness. Yeah. Family, because this is me and my brother. Like we fully own the brand together. There's nobody else involved with that. And hopefully it'll be like that till the day we leave or the day we die. <laughs> um, but then that expands out from like my, the guys who I bring around with me, like John, who's over here, Harry, who's at the hotel, James, Steph, uh, Spen, like they're, they're my family. Hmm. I don't see them as just friends or colleagues. Like it's like the whole team is my family. And then even through that expanding, like the community is our family. Like the guys that come to our pop-up shops and c camp out for a day before and like, they're my family, man. They're like, we're all in this together. Like they love the brand. Like why wouldn't they be my family? What does it mean to work with your family? Dude, it's like, it, honestly like. Cause some people say you can't. Some people are yeah. like, it's, it's impossible to work with your family. I just had a guy in here before. Elliot Bisnow, who had real challenges working with his, right. his father. Like what, what does it mean to work with your family and how do you get along with it? In our last podcast, you talked about how you and your brother never had a fight. Yeah. That's wild. I think it's just like a level of respect. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not doing this just for me. I'm doing it for them as well. Mm. I'm doing it for Mike. He's doing it for me. Like we have that self res like self respect and respect for each other that at such a high level that like whatever happens, like we're in it together. Like there's no, nothing can come between us. Um, and I think that was just literally built into us as like young lads that were the similar age. And my dad brought us up that way. What does quality mean? Quality means having the, having the focus to make sure that that is number one thing before anything, before margin, before profits, before anything like quality is always a number one for me. Like I, I, I need my product to be the best quality, like way better than anything else at its price point, mm -hmm. because that's what sets us apart from other brands. How do you figure that out? And how do you know when it's ready to ship? Um, <laughs> I'm always at the start of that process where there's so many other people involved that get it to the point of where it's shipping that like for me, I would love to make hoodies that are made out of silk that I can, that I can retail at $150, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'll push the boundaries as much as I can within the range that I can and still make the product that is like attainable to most people. Um, but still push the boundaries on the quality and make sure I'm still in the best factories in the world and shipping at the best times in the world. Makes sense. What is relentlessness mean to you? Relentlessness is just like my way of being my drive. Like wake up early, get shit done. Like be relentless with the with the journey. And like we're not here for a long time. We just gotta do everything we can for what we want to do. Relentless relentlessness means to me that you are giving respect to the moment and respect to your life to make it all you can be. Yeah. Does that exactly, resonate? Yeah, exactly, man. Like it's hundred and ten percent or nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like. And I wanted to instill that in everyone within the business, within the wider team. Like we got it, we're in this together. So let's all stay on the same wavelength. How do you instill relentlessness into somebody if they don't have it within them? I, that's a hard question because some people just aren't into that. And I understand that. But for me, it's like we spoke about earlier, like there's a ripple effect. Hmm. If you can set the standard and be the standard, then everyone feeds off that standard. Like, if, if I was a guy that was out golfing on Wednesdays and fucking off on holiday every weekend because the business is a great place, do you think my team would, like, respect me at the level of that I'm at there? Like, I, I don't believe in that. I believe in being being in the forefront, being do, doing the hard work and never taking the foot off the gas. Love that. So number 14 was inspire greatness by doing great things. What's that all about? Just do great things, man. Whatever What's the last is. great thing you've done? Oh, well, I went to bed early last night. <laughs> that was great enough. <laughs> we were supposed to be going to 11. <laughs> and I walked in the living room and I was like, boys, we're not doing it. <laughs> so I think that was great. <laughs> John was not happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> John wasn't happy. <laughs> no, there's loads of great things we do. Like 
we we do great things in the business every day like so many good things happen so many bad things happen but as long as you can make them great then you're on with it no but i love that example of a small thing being great right yeah. like small thing we're going to bed early tonight yeah. well that's like that sets you up for the next day exactly and that that is potential so i think oftentimes we don't think about the small things that we do as great because oh i just went to bed earlier oh i just went yeah. to the gym one time well you just laid a brick for yourself right. for the future right and then little things that compound over time are like what i believe will make people successful mm. it's all about the little things that you do daily it's not about having setting a goal from five years away where you believe you're going to be at this and you want to get this exit and stuff like that it's just do the things today that matter and tomorrow will be better because you cannot predict yourself five years from now no. because we spoke in our last podcast you're saying what i did in the past year i thought i was gonna it was gonna take me five years to do right you can't actually know where you're gonna be no you can't and i understand the um the complexity of goal setting and i do set goals but i'll never set goals for like more than a year away yeah because we don't know where we're going to be we don't know what's going to happen we don't know if a pandemic is going to come you don't know if someone's going to pass away you don't know what like th there could be a million different things if you enjoyed this clip watch the full episode right over here and don't forget to subscribe